or just got a huge buff, which means it's time to pump it up. We got Deadpool, Dakin. Uh, we're going to do some cool stuff with it. Take a look at this deck list that I have right here. It is pretty insane. It, uh... It runs all of the top buff em up cards. Brood, Mr. Sinister, Iron Lad, Absorber Man. Those cards together are going to be insane. If you don't know Brood, uh, it copies all of its cards, copy whatever power it currently has. So if you forge a Brood, it's going to be five power now because now forge gives plus three. Uh, similarly, Absorbing Man, if it copies a Brood ability, everything's going to be 5 power still. Iron Lad, everything's going to be 6 if it gets a Brood or a Mr. Sinister. So it's going to be really easy to pump that up. We are also including Deadpool, which benefits a lot from just growing in power. And Dakin, which also gets even bigger when you uh, buff it up. So Dakin, Deadpool, you get the Destroy cards in there. And then we throw in Silver Surfer to top it all off to get that extra pump on the Brood. And some other combo cards like Dakin and the Absorber Man minions that pop out of it. So let's see how this goes. Let's try it out. What do you guys think? Uh, do you have any other decks you want me to try? This I think is going to be a top deck. I think a Koye could be replacing this potentially because it's generally a win more card. Not really win more, but it's kind of like you're going to win a lot more when you draw it earlier, but it's going to kind of cost you a late draw if you draw it late because you don't want to be playing out late. So I'm going to try it out with the Koye, but I think that is a flex slot for this deck. I just wanted to put in as many pump cards in here as I could, and really, it's just forging a Koye right now with Surfer to top it off. We'll see how it goes. You want to be playing out a Koye on two, Brood on three, Zora Man on four. That's ideal. Or Forge on two, Brood on three, Absorb Man on four. So it's one of those two combos. Deadpool's in there in case you don't get the Brood. Dakin's also in there in case you don't get it. This guy is pretty confident. We're actually pretty confident too here, I think, because we have a Deadpool deck, plus we have Brood to stick on the Dust Domain. I'm gonna snap him back. He probably is running a similar deck. The drop, the, we just had the drop of the OTA patch, which means that a lot of people are gonna be playing with the new updated cards. So I'm assuming he might be playing something similar. That might be Deadpool or something, dropping in there, Wolverine. Okay, not surprised. Wolverine might be a good replacement for a Koi in this deck, not gonna lie. We do only have two kill cards outside of the Killmonger. So now, the problem with playing Brood on Dust Domain is that it does not copy the... You can't copy the Brood because it's dead, so you can't absorb in it. But since uh, Citadel is happening, we don't have to worry about that. So now the question is, do we want to waste? I guess we do. It does kill the Absorber Man, and it's going to swap anyway, but we do get the two Broodlings at five. Which works for us. All right, this guy's a Galactus Gamer. Ooh. That is unfortunate for us that it went over here. Because now I can't stop a Galactus play. Yeah, we don't have any way to stop Galactus. This is going to end up being a retreat. Goblin with the Wolverine. Here's the problem. He Galactuses. Yeah, we can't stop Galactus. I have nothing in my deck that can stop this. I can kill it with Forge, but then or with Carnage, but the Carnage will never live. I don't have anything else I can live. We're gonna have to end up retreating. It's gonna be Nimrod. Yep. Uh, so now the question is, do we think that he has Galactus in hand? You know what? We're just going to start this game over. I mean, if he does like Venom Carnage, do we even beat that? So 9 plus, uh, what is that, 8? 9 plus 8, 17. So he gets 6 plus 3. So 
So we don't even beat that. So I think we're we're just gonna retreat. We'll beat him in the next one. <clears throat> Now we know he's running a Galactus deck. He did play Electro, which should tip us off, but we have more rounds. All right, we have Forge, really good for Forge on two. Quantum Realm, also pretty good. So we can draw Dagon Brood. Mm. Okoye is interesting here. We have all of our cards we want Okoye in our deck. We don't have the cards in our hand that we want to forge, so I think we're going to play a Koye out. I think we're going to play it on Mojo World. Even though we probably want to brood Mojo World. But we don't have a guarantee that we're going to draw it. Yeah, I think it's important to snap early on your early, like, two to three turns based on your opening hand and the locations that come out. How good are they for your deck? How good is your opening hand for your game plan? And has your opponent played anything on one or two that could tip you off to how good their plan is? All right, we made the right decision. So I think we brewed on the right. Hmm. Yeah, I think we brewed. We could also be greedy here. If we forge now, we get a bigger brood. I think this is fine. It's gonna be a six power brood. And then we get absorbing man and then we can do surfer stuff. So we know he can't Galactus. So we're fine. We no longer have to worry about that. Which means we can just comfortably play the Absorbing Man, play the Deadpool out. He should be leaving this game. We're in a really solid spot here. Now we probably just Surfer and Sinister. So I'm just gonna Sinister to the right, Surfer the, Sinister to the left, Surfer the right. Pump everything up enough that I think we should be good here. <clears throat> I think he leaves. We go into game three. It looks like just a Carnage Venom from our opponent. There's the Venom. Unfortunately for him, Carnage... Oh, it's Electro, okay. If it was Carnage, it would for sure lose the middle. And for sure lose the right. But we casserole him. Nice try! <laughs> well, now we're tied 4-4, because we had to retreat that first one, because I was scared of Galactus. And we didn't even beat a Carnage Venom play that first round, so. Death's Domain didn't work out for us because we didn't draw an early Deadpool and we wasted our cards that could play onto it. And he got a little bit lucky playing his Hobgoblin on the lane that it swapped to. And now we're just waiting. You are very slow, but his title is absolute garbage. Okay, and two. Once again, we don't have Brood in hand, so it's a good play. Dakin, we do have in hand, so we don't get the Dakin value, but taking the Brood value is pretty good. There goes Galactus, there goes our Surfer. 
We drew the forge. We can play forge sinister next turn. It's not too bad. I think Dakin and the Met Metropolis is okay. It'll be seven power until we power it up. I'm going to go ahead and snap him. His Galactus is gone. We don't have to worry about that. Gives us a lot of, uh, you know, a lot of freedom here. Okay, as we were saying, we're going to still do the Forge Sinister play. I'm not really worried about the middle right now. I have Carnage for that. This, this Carnage plus the sword. I'm expecting him to pump up a Nimrod, yep. So now we need his normal rod is going to be 12, or Dakin's only going to be 8. He's going to be able to get 24 power in the lane. I don't think we can beat that. Um, so it's like we can have 8 plus another 4, right? This is only at 12. Actually, I guess we're gonna get the Killmonger as well. So I guess if we, but then I guess we get one with the Venom. Hmm. It's looking like an L. I think I'm gonna leave. They don't have the power to beat that. Uh, I don't have the power to beat a double Nimrod play. If he has the souped up Nimrod, we didn't have Surfer. This deck not running any counters to that deck does pro pose a few issues. That deck kind of gets out of control if they get the Shuri Nimrod Venom Carnage play out there. I'm not sure I want to play the Sinister out because, uh, we don't have much space because we don't want to play in the Yotunheim. I just want to play Brood Absorber, man, so we're just going to chill. I'm assuming he's snapping because he has the combo again. We're going to stick it out because Mojo World's good for us. Okay. Because he wants to Galactus us over here. We drew Carnage though, so I think we're okay. It's fine. We have priority. If he tries any nonsense on us, we're taking him out here. <clears throat> yeah, he tried it. I probably should have snapped my mistake so now he's gonna leave we don't get any benefit from a snap yeah. yeah that was a little mistake by us not snapping there <clears throat> free galactus play we knew what he was planning to do we had the power to stop it. So once again, we have Forge on two. Pretty good for us. Unfortunately, squirrels are bad for us. Unless we can get... Actually, I guess we can kill Monger turn three if we really need to. Although that does free up him for Galactus, so maybe we don't. Uh, th this is actually kind of annoying. Um, if we play out Dakin here, our sword gets shuffled back into our hand, into our deck. But we do draw a bunch of other cards, so... 
I think it's fine. I assume he... He probably doesn't run Killmonger. It's gonna be like Carnage here. Electro. Okay. It's a weird snap from him. We're, all, we're both all in. Alright. If we get a buffed up Deadpool. It's gotta be Carnage or something over here. Maybe we just do it mid. A little bit smaller Carnage. I think this is fine. Okay. And now we can do this. Seems okay. Goblin's a little annoying. Okay, we have Forge, Deadpool, plus Surfer. Surfer is worth seven points. Across our three lanes. I think we just Deadpool middle. Puts us at seven, just above him, right? And then we just do Forge Surfer, right? I don't think he has any way to really beat this, looking at his deck. He can't Nimrod and anything else. He pretty much just have like Wolverine Venom here. He needs six power middle, because he has the five, because he hasn't played anything there. I guess he could just play Venom middle. But then we're stacking up both sides by enough that he plays Venom. He doesn't have another good play. So I think this should be enough. <clears throat> you know, that wasn't on my list of things uh, that he would play. <laughs> but uh, doesn't work for him. We get the dub. Beat a Galactus destroy deck. Not too bad. Okay, so starting this game out, <clears throat> we have a Corian too, but we also have a lot of other stuff. I don't think we want to play out any of our destroy or server stuff yet. Not enough value yet. I don't know if we want to snap because we don't know at all what our opponent is playing. He stacked up one location. Doesn't really tell us too much yet. Invisible. <laughs> Again, doesn't tell us everything we need to know. Okay, we have Deadpool. I think we want to just drop these over here where we know he can't do anything to us, and then we're just going to kill him next turn. I don't know. Actually, maybe, maybe we just kill it this turn. Then we can Deadpool Venom next turn, maybe. We can keep the killing going. Hmm, looks like Patriot. The Invisible Woman plus Sinister tells us Patriot. I think we want to play Lad here. Um, there's a decent chance it's Mr. Sinister or Brood. So I think that could be uh, really good. So there we go. Huge. He also went with the Lad. Did he get as lucky as us? He did not. He got Patriot, though. Which is not terrible. Okay, so here's what we want to do. We're gonna play this, this, and this. This will give us a big Venom. Uh, give us the Deadpool for eight. It'll buff up our Dakin. Plus we'll have Brood Surfer next turn. We won't be able to play the Venom out though, or the Deadpool with that play, but you know, it's probably worth it still. Oh, the Venom gets sucked over here actually though. That is one problem, but I think that's actually fine. 
It means we really win the right. Okay. So now we have a couple options here. Let's do some maths. So if I do brood middle plus surfer, that's an extra 15 here. So we've got a 23. So if we expect another Patriot would buff this up by another two. Um, and then he'd have to play like a wasp or something. So he gets four more points because of 16. Wasp is another three. He has Mystique in here, which I'm assuming this is Mystique. So you can either copy the Iron Man or the Patriot. Question is, is it better to play Surfer is plus six points? I guess if we if we do this, Surfer is still better. Yeah, because we get three plus an extra six. So that's nine. So this is still better than just playing this mid. The, the question is, do we want to try and stack left or mid? It really depends on if his Mystique copies the Iron Man. I think we actually copy... I think we go with this, actually. So it's 9, we go to 17 over here. I think this is our best shot of winning. I think we snap him as well. I have a pretty good feeling about this because he might just stack middle. <clears throat> All right, he didn't stack mid at all, so maybe we made the wrong choice. But his stuff gets pulled to the right if it's, all right, blue marble, okay. And onslaught, okay. We ended up winning that by a hair. Not the two cards I expected. <laughs> we actually would have lost mid by one, right? Because we calculated 23 mid. So we made the right choice there. It was a close call, very close call. Right, we have Forge on two. We can actually bump Forge back to our hand. Very good for us. Gives us the option to do it with Brood as well. So I think we do Forge into Dakin. Then we can Forge Brood later if we ended up drawing it. Or we could Forge Iron Lad. So we know he runs Onslaught now. The Onslaught Patriot's a little bit interesting. It's gonna be a large Dakin. There's no reason to bump the Dakin because it's too much power to play it multiple times. If we want, we could absorb man Dakin. Give us a second shard, but I don't think it's worth it. Yeah, I probably should have actually thought about this a little bit more and <laughs> played the Dagon over on the Strange Academy so that I could have carnaged the ninja. Now we're, we can kill Monger the ninja, which is also fine. I think we do that. Free up some space for us. It kills the ninja, which on his side as well, which is gonna get buffed by Patriot potentially, so. I think it's fine. Ideally, we draw Brood next turn. He got the Brood play again because he bumped it from Luke's bar. I mean, we're going to have to just hope that this is Brood, maybe. It's either Brood or Sinister. We could wait to forge it next turn. Yeah, but I think we're just gonna end up doing this. Because we have Zori Man in hand, so we wanna be able to play a Zori Man. Yeah, 
we got Sinister. So now I can absorb him man that. Unfortunately, his mid didn't get filled. Hmm. <clears throat> but I don't think he can get enough power mid. Iron Man's not enough. He can Iron Lad and Iron Man. That'd be his only out. He has three cards in his deck, so he'd have to win a one and three with that. I think we are just playing Absorbing Man into Sinister. This gives us 14 power on the right here. I don't think he can beat 14 power. Like if we played Ultron here, he gets three power bots, which gives him 12. So I think we're okay. Blue Marvel plus Brood. Brood Surfer. What is this? Onslaught? Wait. Wasp. Yeah, okay. <clears throat> yeah, we knew Onslaught couldn't win mid, so. Pretty easy play there. We have Forge into Sinister and Absorb Man if we want, if we don't draw Brood. I think we want to win Asgard, so we're gonna Forge Middle, potentially giving us a plus three, and then play into Asgard with our Sinister or top deck Brood, or top deck Dakin. He went with the Sinister first play. The Nexus changes things for sure. Yeah, we're always playing Brood over here into maybe, maybe Venom. I think we're gonna close them out here. It's a five power Brood, we Venom it. Well, you can always Iron Man here, I guess. Maybe, we, maybe we're making a mistake by snapping, but... Okay, yeah. It's gonna be Iron Man Onslaught. I don't know if we're gonna be able to beat that. Um... I guess we can do this into Venom next turn. Venom. We already did Absorb Man, so it doesn't really matter here. Dakin's not going to be enough. I don't think so, at least, right? Is Venom going to be worth more in the long run? Because it frees up a little bit extra space, but we don't get extra surface value. Yeah, I'm not sure it's going to be enough. I don't think it is. Unfortunately. I do think Dagon is more than Venom. Surfer's worth eight. He definitely wins here, but uh, yeah, it's Wasp Middle, Onslaught, Iron Man, probably Patriot. No Titan. Yeah, there's the Iron Man. Yeah, we're gonna get ran over here. Wasn't too bad, but. Not enough. 
Yeah, when you run a deck without counters, <clears throat> it's really hard when an, a thing like the Nexus shows up like that against a deck that runs Iron Man Onslaught. Ooh. Now that's going to be good for us. Double Okoye, if we get a forward, it's going to be good. We get Double Surfer later. He should probably leave if he wants to try and survive. But he's going to take the L like a champ. Super flow. Double Dakin. Where do I want the Dakin? I guess it, I guess I want it mid. And then we're gonna do Brood on the left here. But I think we do Brood first. Okay. Do I start pumping up the other sides now? I think so. Yeah, I'm gonna do this. You know, this might have been slight error. Hmm. You got Deadpool over here. I guess I'm going to just Surfer mid, so I'm going to Venom the right Surfer mid. So I guess I have to play this out. So I'm assuming he's going to play Patriot Mystique here. Or just Blue Marvel Wasp or something. So I don't think he can really win here. Because our double Surfer gives us plus 12 over here. So I think it's... A lights out for Dishonorable Blade. Dishonor Blade. Valiant effort. But not enough. Is this the casserole we were looking for? It was indeed. Shroomp. Shroomp. Got him. GG's, this deck seems pretty solid. Those were literally the first two games I've played with this deck. I've played the archetype kind of before, but with the upgraded Forge. Uh, we saw the Forge come into play a couple times, but just like the deck overall was pretty solid. Uh, Koye, again, really solid on two, but if you draw a late, it's not good. So probably could replace it with Wolverine or something if you want. But other than that, my camera died. But yeah, thanks for watching, everybody. See you guys later.